All right, so let's get this started and show you how to put in everybody's email address in your Outlook account. First off, I want to come to the folder where um, my assignments are, which is the U01A1. And if you look at the assignments, I've added this link down at the bottom, which is the class e e e email list. So what you want to do is you want to click on that. And if you're using uh, Firefox like I was, it got me confused at first because it opened it up because it was a comma separated value file. I want to make sure that I download it. So, so I'm going to click on this link here and save it. This caused me a problem. So I just want to save the file. And then when I open here, it's there. And it doesn't say that it's done. Okay, now it's done. Now in, in Firefox, what I would do is just open this folder that contains the file. And there it is. Okay, and it's in the right file format. And then all I would have to do is take it. I can copy it from my downloads. <clears throat> and put it in my folder. I right click to do the copy and right click to do the paste. Then I come up here, put it in my, oops, wrong, wrong one. This is my documents is where I want it here. And it's my school and my Cuesta credit courses 154 and this is the file right click paste okay so now the file is inside the folder and what I'd have to do now is go to my Outlook so I'm going to um, open my Outlook uh, Outlook um, for my start my taskbar here And then what you want to do is to find the, in, in my case, remember, I have many um, accounts here. So what I want to do is to go to the right one. So I want to go to my lab email account and choose the contacts option. So I'll cl ch click there and then make sure that I've got the lab email chosen. And then what I do from this point is I go in and do an open and export, import, export, import from another programmer file. Then I look for comma separated values, go to next, look for my email accounts, which is in my, uh, my CIS 154 folder. And I've got it there, comma separated values and uh, do not import duplicates and next. And what you wanna make sure of here is that you're in the right account. Because since I have several, you don't, but you hopefully don't. There's your lab email account and that's the context for the lab email account. Now I just click on next and I'm going to import um, into that folder and it should, this may take a few minutes and cannot be can canceled. Okay, so it's happening. Okay, no, it wasn't happening yet. So what I had to do is click here and I go map the custom fields and I only have two, so I'm going to go the last name field um, goes in here, last name, and the first name field goes in there, and then the email account, I find that one, and it's just email one, so I'll put in email there. And now, okay, and finish. All right, so that brought in everybody in the class, and now you've got the right email uh, accounts for everybody, uh, all the students in our class. So that you should have, uh, I think, uh, 36 emails in there. So that that will give you all your uh, address list to get started with. And then I'll give you your um, partner's names and those kind of things. So uh, good luck and make sure that you do this one.